neglected my family for my job. I was too thrilled by the cases. The mysteries. I liked how dangerous the work was. And now that danger has destroyed my family. It killed my daughter. No! Deciding what I get to do, how I get to do it. He took my daughter from me. What? Him. I'll never be free of this story from him. He used her. That's a little racist. Uh, where does it go? She's not dead. God damn it! Really, is that make can I keep doing this? Yep, it's gonna keep making me do it. I'm done with this. It just keeps coming back. Something's very fucking wrong here. You never loved me. I never should have trusted these. This case, this room, is any of it even real? Casey was hurt. I should have been watching his back. Night Springs. Logan and David love that show. Their weekly ritual. He was being corrupted, and I did nothing. Scratch was wake. How could I miss that? I don't really start reading these. Uh... This one. Why is this happening? What's happening? It feels like I'm trapped in a nightmare. Stuck in an echo chamber with all my fears, my doubts, my insecurities. That's not... No.
It was so obvious the Koskala brothers were behind the cult. I spent too much time away from Logan. Logan. The horror story used her. I've had with you, cultist maniac! I never should have left KC at the hotel by himself. The cult was just the beginning of the spiral. What's happening to me? Hmm. What the hell? I hate this. But it's all true. I had tried to silence these thoughts. Focus on the case. But I can't escape them anymore. I'm drowning. I need a way out before I'm dragged under. Be a way out. I need a way out. Oh, God. None of this is real. I've lost it. I'm not even here. The mind place isn't real. A case about supernatural darkness. I'm having a full on psychotic break. I dragged Logan away to a tin can in Watery. She's dead because of me. There has to be a way out. I need a way out. It's over. There's no point trying. Everything is lost. There's no way out. No way to fix this. There's no way out. I'm stuck here forever. Just me and my past. My guilt! My mistakes! I'm not getting anywhere. I'm stuck. But this is my mind place. My mind. Everything I need is here. It, it has to be. They're really gonna drag oh. this out, ain't they? The lights! No. No. I'm not giving up. Focus, Saga. The answers I need are here somewhere. I just have to look. Mm, stick around a little more before I touch the door. Scratch was too much for us. I should have made KC stay behind. I do like my whiskey. Hey, mom. I made you a charm bracelet for good luck. 
I made a matching one for me, so bring me back something cool from Washington. No, I'm not reading anymore. My badge. Never should have taken this case. Hey. Just calling to say thanks for your note. Oh, sometimes I just get in my head too much. So, thanks for pulling me out. You're really the best, Mom. Really. Okay. Talk soon. Anderson, uh, look. After Rand left, it was, uh, well, I was in a, was in a bad, bad place. place. You dragging me to those dinners at your house with your family, uh, it really uh, meant a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Any more clues? Casey trusts me. I know he does. I'll just let him down again. God damn it! Some of these are just... What the fuck? Logan isn't anyone's plot device. She's my daughter. And she's not dead. Dead! She's dead! It's not too late. I can still save them. No matter what I do, someone will get hurt. I don't know what to do. I'm afraid. I'm my own worst enemy. The fears in my head are stopping me from trying. From leaving. God damn it! I'm not a perfect mom. But I'm doing my best. Logan was just being nice when she gave me that mug. I never deserved her. Fuck, no! No. This is all real. I know it is. The FBI will kick me out. I'll have nothing. Anything else? Well, that took a long time to spawn. I am honored by this award. Thank you. While our agency must continue to improve, the work we do here, protecting communities, pursuing the truth, it's the most important work there is. It's okay to be afraid, but I can't let this end here. I can't, I can't, I can't. I just, I just want it to stop. Giving up won't make this stop. Logan needs me. Casey needs me. No, no, no. I've made mistakes. I'll make more, but I can do better, and I can start by leaving this room. I'm afraid it will hurt. 
But nothing will hurt more than not trying to save them. It will hurt. But I will fight. Fuck! The Dark Place tried to trap me here. The only way to leave is facing it head on. Wake called it a nightmare. I need to dive into that nightmare and find a way back home. Oh, come on, all this crap? This old stuff now. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. Ugh. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. But he is genuinely sorry. I might skip all this shit, man, for real. Skipping all this crap. Welcome to the Twilight Zone. Saga, wake up. Wow, I'm surprised the game is actually still going. I thought we were done. Okay. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me.
Agent Anderson. Is that really you? Sorry, this place likes to play tricks. Sheriff Breaker? What happened to you? How did you end up in the dark place? I was brought here. Snatched away from the morgue by a man named Orlin Dorr. Been trying to piece it together for... Well, it feels like a long time now. I need to get to Parliament Tower Plaza. Do you have any idea where it is? This place, it's like trying to find your way around in a dream. I've been trying to map it, but it keeps looping, shifting. Like, there are many versions stacked on top of each other. There is a page. It describes Dor finding his way through this place. I tried to follow the steps, but... No luck. Who is this Dor person? He's here. Somewhere. I've been seeing his face in my dreams for years. <laughs> this whole thing is insane. But he is much more than he seems. He's connected to all of this. Can I see that page, Tim? Of course. In fact, it's the page I tried to give you back in the morgue in Bright Falls. Huh. Now that I think about it, maybe Dor brought me here to keep you from reading it. Here. I'm gonna keep looking for Dor. The closer I get, the closer I feel to waking up. I need to find the man behind the curtain. Warland Dor walked across the rain-slick tiles of Caldera Street Plaza. He stopped at the door to the construction yard. A poster for his talk show hung there. He stepped through, willing it to take him to Parliament Tower Plaza. I know what I need to do. The door to Parliament Tower Plaza was at the construction yard. Uh, let's go back here real quick. This is the first time I've seen a page about Warland Door. Who is he? A door that stands between two rooms is in both. A door that can lead anywhere is everywhere. That door is the center. He governs the currents of reality. With all the powers mixed up in this, it's hard to know who's playing who. Opening too many doors. <laughs> this isn't important right now. I can look into it later. The page describes him moving through the door. How can I do that? The dark place has many faces and many names. It is a mirror reflecting all possible realities. The family of doors have the power to shift between these realities, here and elsewhere. If I can find a way to navigate through this nightmare, maybe I can find a way to get back home. I lost all my weapons and everything, and I have no map of this area with her. Great. <clears throat> Hope I'm not missing any uh, bullets or anything. Since they stripped me of all my stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Aha, uh -huh, so there are st uh, items here. Damn it, should I look around or just keep going? Why'd you start running? <laughs> the subway, really?
I made it. I need to get up to the street and find that statue. Any more items they want to give me? Enough already. Shoebox. Not sure exactly how I escaped the dark place. Oh, get to the light. Do I just go to the tower? Going towards the cop car. Where do I go? Yes? Hello. You don't know me. But you need to listen. Hold on. How did you know the clicker would be there? This is important. Alan's lost. He doesn't have the ending. He needs your help to finish the story. How am I supposed to help him from here? Okay. I'm in the dark place. Wake is in Washington. I could talk to him in overlaps before. My mind place is more powerful than I ever knew. I can try to contact him. Alan. We need to talk about the ending. Saga. What is this? My mind place. I've reached out to you like this before. But I understand more about it now. You see a visions too. I used to think they were ideas, inspiration, but they're real, just like this now. I try to use them to make the story come true. So this is coming from both of us. Maybe that's how we could communicate in the overlaps. We could use this to stop Scratch. First, I need the ending. <sighs> So there's a problem with the ending? I don't have the ending. It has to be perfect, but I don't have time to figure it out. I don't know what to do. Fuck. I'm so sorry. This whole thing is a fucking mess. I agree. But we can still figure this out. And what exactly does perfect mean? The elements of the ending need to come from the story's pre-existing parts. 
To make matters worse, this is a horror story. You don't need to tell me this is a horror story. Right. The ending has to fit the genre if it's going to work. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. There must be a way to bring a hero into the story. If there is a hero, they will ultimately pay a heavy price. So the ending has to be earned, set up by the story. You can't build a case without supporting evidence. That's the only way to make it stick. I can't let the horror story take Logan and Casey. They were dragged into this. They need to survive. Non-negotiable. Not just them. We need to try to save everyone. I have an idea how to help Casey. He's a real person who I twisted into a character. He isn't my creation, so he isn't a suitable host for the Dark Presence. I can write that into the ending to drive that fucking thing out of it. Well, if the ending has to fit the story, this is how I see it. Return is a story about a story that comes true. And I'm a character in the story. Not just a character. The hero. Okay, a hero. <laughs> in any case, I've been through hell to be here. And this is my life. It feels earned to me that I rise above the story and be there to create the ending. Yes. That's what we're doing. Here, now. We're figuring out the ending I need to write. This isn't Scratch's ending, but this isn't your ending either. This is our ending. You aren't the only one deciding these things anymore. You're right. I can't do this alone. Every time I write, things only get worse. You beat this thing back in 2010, Alan. And here you are doing the same again. You're a hero too. We're in this together. Then let's bring it home. This just goes on and on. The ending will have to be dark, no matter what. The more people we save, the greater the cost. And the hero must pay the price. One of the heroes. The scales always need to balance. <sighs> Fuck it. Let's go with this. Are you sure? There's no time for anything better. Scratch could be here any second. Then that's our ending. I have the clicker. I'll find a way to get it to you. And I'll get the pages down. See you on the other side. Malware. Something sounds kind of crazy. Wish I can kind of save right now. Second ago, what let it go down? Alan? Saga, I finished.
finished it. The ending we talked about. I have the clicker and the bullet of light. Let's do this. I have to be the one to do it. I feel like I've always been on this journey. Okay. It must end here, this darkness. What lies under the surface now shifts. A play of shadows catching my eye, thrusting my face into the water. He's here. It's shockingly cold. Past the mirror of the surface. And I will see. I see? Maybe it's a mercy, forgetting, to know nothing when we loop around, back to the... Well, I guess I'll see you guys in part three when that comes out the next 13 years. And with that, I guess I'll see you guys next time.